uh, Annette asked me to show you how to use uh, your smart notebook software for um, a Venn diagram. So uh, she was mentioning that you wanted to get images from the internet. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find the images that you're looking for. So let's just, uh, let's say you're looking for reptiles. So I'm just gonna look for reptiles. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put um, a folder on my desktop. So I'm gonna right click on my folder and I'm gonna, on my desktop, I'm gonna say new folder. I'm gonna call it reptiles and this is where I'll eventually put those pictures so go to images okay so I'm gonna copy that image or save that image we'll call it one and we're gonna put it in our reptiles folder and there's another image now just to copy these images I'm just right clicking save image as we'll call it image two We'll find more reptiles, right click on there, save image as, image three. Let's do all of these, save image as. I'm just calling them image four. I can rename them later. I don't know the names of all these or I would name them. So image five, save image as, image six. Okay, so you're just gonna basically go find all your images. If you don't want images with a background, Google is really smart. If you hit this more key, um, you can go to search tools and you can choose by type of file. If you want it to be a clip art file, you can click on clip art and it will pull up all images that can be used as clip art. So let's go some of those. Put it in the same folder, reptiles. I think we're at seven years. And I don't wanna ever have to go looking for this again. So I've saved that folder. So in, if you go into your smart notebook and you go to the left hand side, you're gonna see this little icon that says gallery. It doesn't say gallery, it just looks like a picture. So you click on that. You wanna go all the way to the top and go to my content. And then you wanna create using the drop down a new folder and you wanna call it reptiles or whatever pictures you're looking for okay there we go there's reptile so now what I'm gonna do is you're gonna add to your content and I'm gonna go find that folder of reptile so I'll do that again click the drop down say add to your content and we'll look for those reptiles highlight all of those reptiles open perfect so now when I go to my content content that you've created and you go to your reptiles folder, reptiles folder, all your images of your reptiles are draggable into your smart notebook file. So then you're going to go back to your gallery. You're going to look for a Venn diagram. Often it's already done for you. If you go to files and pages, ooh, there it is. There's a Venn diagram. I'm just going to drag it over. Come on in. So now that you have uh, that folder in your content, see up here in your content, reptiles, and you have your Venn diagram, I'm just gonna grab it again. Scales, call it whatever you like. And then you're gonna go find um, your content again, that reptiles folder. And then you can actually just drag them right in to your Venn diagram. It's very, very easy. Now you see how this has a white background? So a really easy way to get rid of this white background and just make it transparent is you just click on the drop down, set image transparency and just click where the white is. And I'll show you what happens. And now it's clear, see-through, see? And same with this one. We'll see, sometimes they come as a uh, transparent sometimes they're not so you're going to go set image transparency click on the white spaces and now it's transparent cool there you go so that's a very simple way to get your own images from the internet into uh, your smart notebook and then it's always going to be there you can actually organize this by curriculum area whatever's easiest for you to find your content once you put it in there all right let me know if you have any questions